But anyways, let's move on. Here's the battle. Swamp of Terrors is this waterlogged map. And let's start with the dwarfs. The stunties out here in the swamp, they're going to be up to their chest, whereas most people will be up to their knees. And we're going to have longbeards. So one, two, three, and four. Dwarf warriors, one, two, and three. I'm going to have Ulthar's raiders, ROR up front, with the Ekron minders. And then we're also going to have an army blocker that's going to disappear from my screen. Over here, we're going to have the Dragonback Slayers. We have some cannons by the looks of it. Looks like one cannon. Yeah, just one cannon. We then have two Thunderers back here. We got two Corallers. And we have two Slayers. Now, for the leadership of this army, looks like we're going to have a Rune Lord. Nothing else. I'm guessing just Ra Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Master Rune of Wrath and Ruin, that is. And that rounds out the dwarfs. Now for the Norskins. We have three Marauder Hunters with throwing axes for that armor piercing. We have Marauders. It looks like we're going to have what appears to be three Marauder Champions. These heavy hitting infantry units should trade pretty well against the Dowie. And then we're going to have Fimir Belfiend of Shadow with a Shaman Sorcerer of Metal. And Wolfric the Wanderer. Now, Wolfric the Wanderer is going to have Seafang. The Fimir Belfiend of Shadows is going to have Penumbral Pendulum. Oh, man. Shaman Sorcerer is going to have Plague of Rust. Damn. Vicious stuff. In the back lines, we have Marauder Berserkers. Looks like just one of them on that left flank. And then we're going to have a Feral Manticore up in the air as well. Cause terror and mayhem. And last, but certainly not least, the Iceworn Marauders. Regiment of Renown. Beaklaw, thank you so much for the fo uh, follows. If you don't deploy in the middle, it's auto rule break. <laughs> what? I mean, the white lines are not near them. They're okay. <laughs> I'm guessing that was just sarcasm. <laughs> And Vclaw, thank you for the host. Welcome to the new viewers. Hope you have a good time. You tuned in. Time for round three of this best of five final between ODM Anticity and RTK Alric Rawl. Marauder champions are going to be pushing forward slowly but surely. And uh, the dwarf are going to be opening fire on top of them with some cannons. And here comes the first round. Kill! One of those con... Cannonball's getting some good contact, reducing them down to 69 HP, or 69 models, and now to 66, so killing off a nice four models of those uh, Marauder Champions. The Dowie Formation I find to be very interesting. All these units are hidden, keep in mind. Seems like everybody has good distance on the white line to me. So, the Dowie going to continue firing away with that cannon. Feral Manticore, now the focus of the Dowie Cannon's ire. I'm going to take a cannonball to its chest right there. Probably didn't feel too good. And now the cannon's going to start shooting at the throwing axis, perhaps? Or maybe it was going after the chariots here. Norskins taking their time with their approach, going on the far sides here. They could probably pull up behind this terrain feature and be okay protect themselves from that artillery fire, but I do like the patience on display here from the Norskins as they approach this battle and are trying to surround the do uh, dwarf forces by the looks of it.
Thunder is going to open fire on top of that Manticore. It's going to do a little bit of nice dodging there and start pulling back the other way. And these three Marauder Horsemen of Throwing Axes look like they're trying to get up close, probe, poke, and prod at this Dowie Force. They've just discovered that there's at least one Thunderer over here in the forest. So... Norskins do have the edge in the balance of power, though. And he's playing this the right way. He's waiting until his infantry is up before he rushes in with his lords or these throwing axes or anything like that. You do not want to go in piecemeal against a Dowie army, especially a Dowie army with a lot of firepower. Um, so I'm really happy to see him just taking his time, waiting for his infantry to get in position before he starts rushing forward with heroes and cavalry. Fang going through. It's a thick formation of Dawi. Oh, it's really not going to do a lot. That seemed like a lost opportunity there. It just kind of went off at a weird angle. Over here, we see the Manticore with the Master Rune of Wrath and Ruin getting uh, slowed in place for the Slayers to take care of it. It's going to start rampaging, but in come the Berserkers, who are going to be a perfect counter to the Dwarf Slayers. Ooh, Penumbral Pendulum coming through, doing some nice damage to these guys. But once again, I think it could be angled to get a bit more damage, but I'm just nitpicking. Um, over here, the Throwing Axes probably want to pull out of combat. Um, they're really not going to do well in melee, and as you can see right here, those guys almost routing instantly. Going to be seeing Throwing Axes up in front. The ones on foot going to be throwing their axes into the Dowie Infantry, trying to knock out these Quarrelers, but we... I'm sorry, these Longbeards. But we do have Corlors, Corlors in the back line, outranging them and counter skirmishing, so they should do just fine. Over here, the Feral Manticore getting shot down by the Dowie Thunderers, and it is not looking good. Over here, the Slayers um, actually holding their own against the Marauder Berserkers because they have these Dwarf Warriors who are able to hit them on the other side. And the Slayers look like they're going to take that opportunity to run away and escape the Marauder Berserkers so they don't get killed off completely. Over here, seeing the Dowie Thunderers opening up on top of Wolfric, as well as his Shaman Sorcerer and the Femur Belfiend. And uh, this Dowie army just looks like it's really reacting well to the Norskins. The Norskins seem to be having a hard time cracking this nut. And uh, the Dowie still have a lot of infantry and, most importantly, a lot of firepower. Oh, another Penembral Pendulum coming through. He's really trying to take care of these Quarrelers. Terror kicking in immediately there. And the Norskins are starting to get some good pickups on the left side of their formation here. Got some Dwarf Warriors routing. You have the Throwing Axes uh, with the Armor Breaking trait. Oh, no, they don't have Shield Breaker, but I think the ones on foot do. Yeah, the ones on foot have Shield Breaker trait. There go some Marauder Champions into the cannon. And the Slayers are going to be running away because they want nothing to do with Marauder Champions. And even the Ice Run Marauders probably isn't a matchup they want to get into. Over here, the Shaman Sorcerer is going to be hitting those Longbeards in the flank as these Marauder Hunters run away. And here comes a Sea Fang somewhere. Oh boy. That actually did some really good damage to the Thunders, to the Throwing Axes, and I think it might have clipped the Dwarf Warriors on the way out. Balance power starting to slip to the Norskins. Will they be able to pull this off? Right now, Femir Belfine taking a ton of damage. It's in combat with the Dragonback Slayers. And now the other Slayers are coming in to fight too. And that's just not the combat this bad boy wants to be in. Let me split you in twain. Wolfric the Wanderer are going to be running around this side of the flank now. And it looks like these guys may be running to the back lines. This is the best move I would say the Norskins can do right now. Run away from where the Slayers are. They lost the Femir Belfine. That sucks. But if they can wrap up all of these Thunderers, then it will be worth the trade. And it doesn't even look like the Dowie are going to chase off the Femir Belfine of Shadows. So they may be able to survive that yet. Over here, though, the Thunderers are remaining stalwart. 
We have some Thunderers, I mean some Longbeards coming over here to help defend them. And the balance power is in favor of the Norskins though. We'll see what happens from here. Wolfric the Wanderer taking a lot of damage against the Dragonback Slayers. I don't think the Dawi Cannon is coming back online. I do not see its crew anywhere, so I believe it's been killed off. Thunder is on the other hand. One of them is close to full health. However, look at that. A Manticore diving in. Trying its best to knock them out. Maybe get a tear out, but at the very least, it's buying time for the Norskins. And the Marauder Horseman and Throwing Axes are going to dive into the rear there. Get a nice rear charge on top of those Thunderers and then pull right back out. Um, and it looks like the Manticore is shattered now. So no more Manticore for Norska, but the balance of power is getting further and further in their favor. But I think this balance power may be deceptive because honestly, all that needs to happen is a big fat volley from the Thunderers to delete the Femir Belfiend, and another volley to delete the Shaman Sorcerer, and then they can save their last for Wolfric the Wanderer. But here comes another Sea Fang going right through those Thunderers, and that one did some good damage. Um, I kind of would have liked to have seen it on the Longbeards, honestly, but. Still seems like the Norskins are starting to pull this through into their favor. Thunderers shooting down Wolfric, but he's still alive. We have throwing axes in the back lines hitting these Thunderers. Think Tank 1. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, right now, this is... Um, I'm not sure which way it's going to go. The Marauder Champions, I think, are what's really carrying the Norskins right now. Um, but, oh my god... When the Ekron Miners come back here and start throwing some blasting charges into their back, that may change things. Oh, and here we go. The Runesmith, Rune Lord, I should say, going after the Femir Belfiend. Femir Belfiend is broken right now, down to a mere 84 HP. But these throwing axes just continue to fire away. They are hitting these Thunders where it hurts, and that's actually going to be a GG as somebody just conceded defeat. Who just conceded defeat? Huh. Looks like Intensity conceded defeat. Yeah, they didn't have the means to stop the chariot. I think that's that's really the main thing. Is once those throwing axes, the Marauder Hunters, got in range of the Thunderers, they were just kind of, I guess, conceded defeat from there. Because honestly, yeah, these two Marauder Champions, MVPs right there. The rest of the Norskan army, in infantry what terms, got dealt with. But those Marauder Berserkers, or Marauder Champions, just doing some nasty work in the infantry combat. So, very well played to Alric Rawl. I liked that build quite a lot. And I like the Dowie build a lot, too. Um, it just didn't end up working in the end. I thought ODM hit Anticity had that for the majority of the battle, if I'm being completely honest. But goes to show what I know. Don't listen to me, guys. I'm a big, dumb idiot. So, Alric Rawl up 2-1. And we're going to see what happens in round four of this best of five in just a moment, guys. So, let's get to 